Jane? Squire Paris was all I had in this world. It was not for you to choose. That's all I have to say to you, spirit killer. <sighs> Unless you are looking for work. An angry spirit haunts the woods. His body lies nearby. I require his name and proof that he is dead. Interested? You're the first true local I've met. Where are the others? Here there is no local tribe. Huh. Why's that? The Abanaki left these lands many generations ago. They believe the ground cursed, bringing bad luck upon all who walked it. Ah, so you're not from around here either. No. And yet I'm less of a foreigner than any of you. How are you doing? I saw a man's spirit torn from the world. I'm doing just fine. That man used you. For years, he lied to you. He betrayed your people to the men that killed them. He earned his cut, and so shall they, living or dead. I'm ready now. Ready to deliver on their trade. Be careful out there, Jane. Please. No, I don't think I will. So, an angry spirit, you say? Yes, in the woods. I believe it is a dead hummingbird. This is good. Although I wish I had been the one to kill him. I need his name, to cross it from the list. All right. I'll see what I can do. I'll leave you then. Good day. Spectre ahead. A dead mercenary, I think. Be ready. There's a tough one. Spectre heading for that course. Hey, it. 
attention. It's over. May Jane now find peace. Here's the ring. A hummingbird carved upon it. And with it, a name. Bouverger. Dead at last. Jane. You. I found your spectre on the finger of its corpse, a ring and a name. Francis Bouverger. At last, the bird has lost its luster, as it should. Thank you both. May the hunt continue. I'll leave you then. Good day. Good day to you, Scudder. It's been a while. Strange. It feels like a mere moment since you killed my cousin and only friend. Yeah, well, sorry about that. Nah, it was for the best. He'd earned it. And I've earned all this, all this guilt. I'd be fair willing to give the money back, but Credence hid it above the old cemetery, near the landslip. And the place is overrun with spectres. All right. If I can, I'll take a look. I'd be grateful, sir. I surely would. And I trust you'll not be tempted to keep it. Good day to you, sir. And a good day to you, sir.
shouldn't stay in there. A stolen payroll. Beloved may have it back. Or not. We'll see. Good day to you, Mr. McCraith. 
Did you find the money? I did. You may have it. No running off to the Indies, mind. You've a debt to pay. A noble gesture, sir. Noble indeed. I shall match it with my own. The Indies will have to wait. Good day to you, sir. And a good day to you, sir. Banisher. Arthur, how goes it? It goes to shit is how it goes. Every damnable time. Here, the way I see it, you owe me. Maybe you can pay off a little of your debt. The camp needs nails faster than I can learn how to make the buggering things. You could bring me some. I remember Nelly mentioning a blacksmith in Fort Jericho. Perhaps a merchant there may still sell his craft. How are things? You're asking me that? You. The man who killed the only person I had in this godforsaken world. Bog off! Why don't you? Our things, Mr. Carthy. The old life is a memory long forgotten, I take it. I'll answer no more of your questions, Banisher. And know this. If you ever again set foot in London, the Wet Boot Boys will be looking for you. The Wet Boot Boys? They sound dangerous. I'll take my leave. <laughs> Good. I believe Daniel Keane has work for us. You did it, didn't you, you mutton-faced old hag? You downed well up and did it. Oh! Good day to you, Mr. Keane. Likewise, sir. What brings you this way? Everything all right? All right. No. Mind you, things are better than they were. Thick skin was... Well, she could be sharp. Not everyone liked that. Interesting. But not what I meant. The thing is, Mr. Keane, you're haunted. Me? Who'd want to haunt me? Daniel, where's your sister? Edith. <laughs> Funny. Now you mention her, I haven't seen her much of late. In fact, I haven't seen her at all. You can't think she's dead. She can't be. She just can't be. If his sister is missing, why didn't he mention it? 
How long has your sister been missing? I don't know. Longer than she should. I ate them woods I do. They're strange. Voices echo in the trees. Puts the woolies right up me. Please, sir, my sister may be in danger. Can you find her? We know what lurks in the woods. He wouldn't last an hour out there. I can make no promises, Mr. Keane. Well, I am sympathetic to your predicament. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Goodbye for now, Daniel. Hurry. Find my sister, please. Uh, an echo whispering to me. Look, a chest. Well, open it, Jobano. Is it a map? Could it be a treasure map? Let me see. Give it here. So, a treasure map. Did Edith go treasure hunting alone? These tools have seen some service. The cleans aren't lazy. Your crop is meager, but it's growing. Pray it stays that way. What little grain we have is rotten. So I see. Can't eat that. I'm at my wit's end with it. That decay is consistent with a haunting. What news of my sister? You found a map, I believe. Map? What map? A map. In her chest. You dug it up. With your sister. That map. Oh. Yes, that map. How do you know about that? I'm a banisher. I dig up secrets. Part of the job. I'm impressed. And I admit a little bit vexed. Where did the map lead? I don't know. Up into the hills, out into the woods, across the bridge on the Boston Road. I can't say where exactly. Goodbye for now, Daniel. I ain't going nowhere. The bridge on the Boston Road. There'll be a waterfall somewhere not far away. Lady. Oh, Mr. McGrath. <laughs> you are a monster. Thank God. I mean, I'm so sorry. Oh, Lord. Never did like me, Mistress Fitcher. Please don't be childish. That's not true. I doubted you. It's not the same thing. But you slayed the beast. God was with you, and I was wrong to doubt. <sighs> well, I have thoroughly embarrassed myself. Forgive me, if you can. Your ghost stories went to my head. I uh, was gathering plants in the woods. I thought it was attacked by a ghost. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? 
She's haunted, clear as day. That's funny, I thought ghost stories were the domain of the charlatan. I deserve that. I admit I ran in panic. In doing so, I dropped my bag. There are medical supplies in it. Could you get it for me? Medical supplies are valuable. A shame to lose them. I'll see what I can do. May God's goodness go with you, if you're serious. I still can't tell if you're a serious man. You are such a good man. Banisher, rebel, finder of lost baggage. And Beetlehead. You forgot Beetlehead. Just lost bag. How does she manage to drop it down there? friends. Trouble's about to Teach them not to mess with a banisher. Once you've revealed the roots, I'll destroy them.
Be muck. Watch out! Spectre possession! is down. She can't have crossed. There. A path leads downwards. signs of passage.
specters have gathered around. Why not force them to appear? Reveal your true self. They never learn, do they? This isn't over yet.
Wasn't I always? Traps. Deliberately sprung. That was clever of her. Madden's men more than gold. I come from the Spanish Americas. All our misery is built on gold. Slaves died in the by the thousands so the kings of Europe could fill their coffers. This is why I overcharge. King Charles took it well, as I remember. Then I should have charged a bastard more.
Veil shields this one. Aim at that lantern. Try this on. That Spectre's looking for a body. They brought more friends. Don't let that Spectre get to the front. Too deep to miss. They're a little old, but I'm guessing Edith Keen. fire to warm you up. Edith's bag. The bloody great hole in it. But it does tell us she was here. You need to see this. Odd marks on the body. Fern shaped. Lightning will do that. Where's the gear? Maybe it fell. Is she really that desperate for the treasure? Some people would die to be rich. Let's find her tie and ask her.
Watch out! Die, you bastard! and leave. God, I hate ghosts. Hi. <laughs> They're very annoying. Very funny. She won't get away. Let's find another path. I love doing that. Never learn, do they? Make a run for it! Watch out! Spectre possession! Once I bruise the heart, destroy the wisps within its roots.
Do you feel that? It's close. Feel something close. Half the map. Where's the rest? Let's ask Edith. Maradas and tombs. You losing your edge? He can fall. I know you. Of course you do, Miss King. Of course you do. I don't know you. I'm Antea Duarte. If you're Edith Keen, your brother Daniel worries for you. I'm Miss Edith Keen. And my brother can trope off, as can you. What's your problem with your brother? He, a wicked man, let me die. He let me die. Die! And I would like him to be punished for it. We'll come to that. First, a couple of questions. Why did you leave with only half a map? I have a memory. I've seen the full map and I remember it all. I knew the way. He thought he was better. Better than me? Ha! The fool. But the fool lives while I am dead. How is that fair? His foolishness killed me. He shall not profit from it. She's annoying me now. They both are. Why is Daniel to blame for your death? You don't know him. You don't know the truth of him. You don't know nothing at all. You were caught in a storm. Daniel threw no thunderbolts. I was in the woods because Daniel is a scheming manipulator who cannot be trusted, not even by his own sister. He has you fooled. He has everyone fooled. He's a liar. He's a schemer. He's a thief. He's a deserter. He'd have taken the treasure and run. You both wanted the treasure, so why not share it? Share? With that filthy thief? Not a chance. The money is mine! I deserve it! I deserve it all! Every penny and every pot. Goodbye, Miss Keen. My brother must be punished! I am dead because of him! She's full of resentment.
She's being very selfish. We need to talk with the brother. The roots won't remain visible for long after I take the path. how I like it.
Right. Which way to come? We'll find it. Your sweet talk will not work here. The Vanisher is not as stupid as he looks. What news of my sister? I found her. I found your sister. Has she... Has she passed? Yes. Oh, dear Lord. I'm sorry. She's gone. My sister is gone. What happened between you? My sister was complicated, sir. A good Puritan, but no stranger to the sin of envy. Envy isn't usually fatal. Did you have a disagreement? Oh, I. We've had a few. From when she was a child, Edith dreamed of position. Me? Well, I just wanted good land to till and decent food to eat. There's something you should know, and you must know it now, before more harm is done. Daniel, you're haunted by your sister's ghost. How could it be otherwise? No one bears a grudge like Edith Kane. She blames you for her death. Of course she does. She blamed me for everything. She blamed me for our poverty. She blamed me when the crops failed. She blamed me for the map. The map? Of course. Did you find the map? Aye. There was a map. I'll be keeping it for now. For the best, no doubt. For the best. I'll need to have a look around your house. Won't be on mine. Do what you please. I've nothing to hide. You fool. You'll not last long without me. Words from the past linger here. They came prepared. Not prepared enough, it seems. Been digging up gold and digging up worms, I don't know which I'd choose. Neither seems to have made them rich. Oh, 
Let's see. Cross the bridge, go through the forest, turn east, and... Good. I've got everything I need. Caught red-handed! You thief! How dare you steal from your own sister! I... I just wanted to look at it again. Here, take it back. I bloody well will. Daniel planned to go hunting for treasure alone. Why did she call him a thief? There's more to this. How about a chant to reveal the past? A scale fogach smile. The camp is doomed like the rest of New Eden. We go! The risk is too great! We claim the treasure and leave directly. You're as foolish as our father and you're going- Don't! Yonk. You're as headstrong as was our adult mother. She was stern, but she was fair. Half for you, half for me. God grant me patience. He'd have left with half a map. Did she think she'd find the treasure? Seems unlikely. There's more to this. So, is it done? I know all I need to know. So you can help me? Let's speak frankly, shall we? Having caught you trying to steal her part of the map, your sister fled alone into the woods. I weren't stealing it, I was just looking at it. Is it my fault she ran off into the forest? I think it might be, friend, yes. You lied to me. You knew why she'd left. Aye. Sorry about that. Didn't want you to know about the treasure, see? She wanted to be rich. I just wanted to go home. I said I'd help you and I keep my word. You must face your sister one last time. Edith, show yourself. Banish her! Now, man, do it before she does something terrible! End your mewling, you bag of shite! The Banisher knows that this is all your fault! No, not mine. Your misadventure was your own. All right, that's enough. If you can stop bickering for just a minute, perhaps we can get to the truth. With that, we may even have an ending. I saw your letter, Daniel. You planned to return to Yorkshire. This land is cursed. If I'm to die miserable and poor, at least I can do it at home. Bullshit. You wish to go home and buy a great big farm and be important. A man of standing, no less. Bah! You're a liar and a fool. This country could make countless fortunes, including ours. Idiot! Even dead, will you not just bloody well shut up? Edith, you were determined to make the farm prosperous, am I right? A fool's errand! The land is cursed! I knew I'd never be a queen. I'd like as never be a mother. But I would make a garden grow. And in it, I could content grow old. We are 
the salt of the earth, sir. The, the salty, a sister, has lost its savour. Edith went treasure hunting alone, aye. But only because she knew you, Daniel, would double-cross her. She was right. You tried to steal the map, you antiquated rogue! I didn't try to steal the map, you horrible old drudge. I just wanted to look at it. It was you who sneaked off after the treasure alone. You left me no choice, you meal-mouthed excuse for a man. And now I'm dead. Oh, right. That's enough. I've had enough of these two. Let's get it over with. Edith, you went after the treasure alone. You had a wee accident. You can't hang on Daniel here. That's right. Without your scheming, I'd not have braved the woods alone. Without your scheming, I'd yet be alive. You killed me! You killed yourself, you stupid cow! All right. We know enough. Let's end this. Edith Keane. You took a risk and it got you killed. Now your greed keeps you here. He tricked me. You tricked him too. Shall my bastard brother have the treasure? It's no longer your business. But no, he shall not. In that case, I may go. That's the spirit. Farewell to you, Miss Edith Keane. There is nothing left for you here. This is how it was supposed to end. This is how it was supposed to end. Something's nearby. Where is it?
to worry about. Wasn't I always? Standing by.
Our doctor may not believe in ghosts, but this journal was torn by a spectral hand. Too soft. Get in its face. Try this on for size. I hope whatever's in there is intact. Was the bag dropped, or was it taken by force and emptied? This is giving me the willies. Is it cursed? I command you to leave now. Mistress Fitcher was something of a physician back in Yorkshire. I wonder why she left. She'd stopped seeing patients. Maybe she was bored. I bet she'd take boredom now. Beats a curse, eh?
Thank God you're back. Why, Mr. Switcher, whatever is the matter? Uh, I was home, working. All of a sudden, the book in my hands was torn apart. What does the devil want with me? Not the devil, but a ghost. You must know it now. Till lately, I would never have believed such nonsense. This never would have happened in Yorkshire. I've passed through Yorkshire. Seems nice enough. Why leave? Why does it matter? To understand why someone is haunted that helps to know a little about them. Fine. I came to treat the sick and chase the devil from New Eden Town. My cousin, Nicholas Doolin, may the Lord keep him, said the town needed doctoring. I took my chance. But when the devil came a knocking, well, we were forced to leave. For a rationalist, her faith in God and the devil is strong. Why didn't you follow the governor? You and he have a similar disposition. I do not doubt the governor's faith, but between you and me, his sermons put me to sleep. It was difficult to leave New Eden Town. But I'd left one home behind. What did it matter if I must leave another? Would you leave a lover behind? If that's not too impertinent a question. It is too impertinent a question, thank you very much. And the answer is no. I left my patients and I left a sister. Things between us had soured. Rather than try to fix the unfixable, I chose to start over. Unfixable? Why? She was to wed. And I... opposed it. It was the mistake of her life. I would not lie to comfort her and she would not forgive me for it. That's good to know. Though I don't yet understand how it relates to your haunting. Mind if I look around? I'm aware this is your home. I've no wish to trespass. If you must, you may. Do tread carefully, hmm? I should go. The Lord will guide you, Banisher. If you let him. Whatever the ghost wanted, it made quite the mess. You must break the engagement. First, I'll thank you for your concern. Second, I shall refuse. Felicity and I shall marry. You have the pox. You'll infect your wife and both of you will die. So cease your nagging and do your job. Cure me. Quite the contentious consultation. The patient in question must be our ghost. He had syphilis and didn't take it serious. Not a pretty way to die. Someone has an axe to grind. This ghost is bent on ruining the doctor's business. Maybe they didn't like their medicine. This could be useful. A medical tome, written by Paracelsus. The dose makes the poison. The answer is here somewhere.
be the sister. The ghost is connected to this picture. Time to summon him. He can fall. That was a clever trick. Now you see me, you lucky things. Can you hear me too? Aye, we can hear you. We've not met. I've seen your likeness. In the picture, you seemed in better shape. Well, now that's not very polite. Who are you, anyway? I'm Antea Duarte. This is Red McGrath. Geoffrey Rollins, me. Pretty as a picture. Near as pretty as you, my lady fair. We're banishers. Looks are not high on our list of priorities. Banishers, are you? How very attractive. I wager you smell good. I wager you smell dangerous. I like you. Why do you stay to haunt Evelyn Fitcher? Because, my lady fair. She let me die. But she was your doctor. A physician. She, her physics didn't save me. A doctor, she, she doctored me and good. You think she didn't try hard enough? I stand before you, my lady fair, as proof of it. You have a very high opinion of yourself. I've earned it, my lady fair. I'm charming, educated, handsome, kind, attentive to your every need. Ask anyone. Like who? Why, like Eleanor Jane, or Madame Cresswell, Penny Ryder, or Penny Top, French Jenny, Greek Nell, Tall Sally, oh, well, perhaps not Sally. I owe her money. Geoffrey is clever, they will all say. Geoffrey is kind. Geoffrey is so very, very handsome. And who am I to argue with such knowledgeable women? You like to be loved. Don't you, my lady fair? I love to be loved. I miss it. To be alone is to be dead. Right now, sad to say, I'm both. The portrait. It's very good. Whose work is it? It was a wedding gift from Evelyn, my sister-in-law. A mark of her affection, perhaps. Was she dear to you too? Evelyn? Dear to me? <laughs> no. Her sister Felicity, yes, very dear. Dear, dear Felicity. Dear Felicity. My wife to be had fate allowed it. Yes, I was intent on marrying Felicity and would not be deterred by some midwife's trifle. Mistress Fitcher knew you had syphilis. Is it any wonder she would oppose your marriage to her sister? She was the doctor, my lady fair. All she had to do was cure me. What can you tell me about your illness? Don't worry your pretty head about that, my lady fair. It is nothing, nothing at all. I beg to differ. Syphilis is very much something. Because you had the pox, Evelyn Fitcher begged you not to marry her sister, Felicity. Ah, Felicity. She made my legs tingle, my head spin, she set my heart a-beating. Love, my friends, is a beautiful and dangerous thing. Before Evelyn let the illness take me, I was not so sick. I was just a man in love. Hale and hearty, me. You sure about that, friend? Because from where I'm standing, you look like shite. 
The pox was nothing, old man. Nothing at all. I was a fool in love. Love didn't kill you, Geoffrey Rawlings. Only a fool would think otherwise. I'm no physician, but I think he probably is a fool. With what did she treat your lesions? Salts and powders, powders and salts. And did they work? No, they did not. Too much sulfur rots the brain. And Geoffrey says he lost his mind. No, the other symptoms don't fit. Powdered quicksilver, perhaps. Too much affects the muscles and makes one's heart rot till death occurs. That's it. Powdered quicksilver, mercury salts, and Mistress Fitcher increased the dose. Poisoning, perhaps? Wait, what? A poisoning indeed, and not by carelessness. She is not a careless woman. Are you telling me that Evelyn Fitcher, Mistress Fitcher, the midwife, my sister-in-law-to-be, poisoned me? I'm gonna kill her! Geoffrey Rawlings was obnoxious. Just before, now he's downright nasty. Oh, Mistress Fitcher's in danger. Do you think she killed him? Yes, I do. She swore to protect and use her knowledge to kill. No shame. What would you have done to save your sister from the pox? I might have told her the truth and trusted her to call off the wedding. Not sure she'd have listened, mind you. Joffrey Rawlings, stand away! Mind your own business, my lady fair. It's about to shoot! It's over. They're gone. By God Almighty, what on earth were they? I know who haunts you. Your ghost is the spirit of one Geoffrey Rawlings. Oh Lord, 
I thought I knew the voice. I thought I glimpsed his face. He was betrothed to your sister, right? But you opposed the union. And what of it? She chose him over me. Why would he return to haunt me now? Fearing he would give your sister the pox, did you poison him with quicksilver? Is he here in search of revenge? Yes. I stole a few months of Joffrey Rowling's life to save decades of my sister's. You mistook yourself for God. Though you'd sworn an oath to protect life, you delivered death. I played God, for God did nothing! To save one you loved, you do the same. The good lady doctor has a point. Let's get to the bottom of this. You've both made your choices. Now it's my turn. Evelyn Fitcher, who swore to do no harm. Geoffrey Rawlings placed his trust in you. You poisoned him. Rawlings was sick, body and soul, and would have passed his illness on. What was I to do? You went against your sister's wishes, against your own principles. Twas a life for a life, a trade, the balance equal. A life for a life. I understand. I'm about to make the same trade. Both of us, death was a remedy. But who shall judge you, banisher, when judgment time has come?
Огромное спасибо за просмотр. Подписываемся, ставим лайки, обсуждаем. До новых встреч.